I'm ready. We're going to do division. Oh boy, you're getting tough, Barbara. I know, this is really hard. <laughs> So what's our Zimmer first problem? figure this out. Yeah. Um, uh, we're going to do a half divided by a six. One half divided by one out of six equal parts. Okay. Yeah. Equal. Okay. So. So I need an array. Yeah. And we okay. want, and let's make halves. Yeah. Because that's, we need to see what the six so now I need sixths. So now we have. So now, how are we going to get sixths? Hmm. So that's what a half looks like. And now let's make sixths. So I would have to divide this into three equal parts. Yeah. To get sixes. Yeah, because then yeah, if you do three more, yeah. Okay, so now we have sixths. Yes. And we have halves. Yeah. So we, here's a half. Maybe you should okay. outline the half. So. This was the half. Okay. We want to know how many of these sixths that we made fit in there. Well, I clearly see three. Yep, there it is. No one. So here's one sixth, two sixths, three sixths. Okay, there's three of them. So I'm going to put three. Okay, next one. A third divided by a ninth. One third divided by one out of nine equals. Hmm. So I need a. You need thirds. Thirds. Because we want to see how many ninths fit into that. Thirds. Okay. And we need ninths. So what do I do to that to create ninths? That means well, I we need... We did this one last time, too, didn't we? Yeah. yeah? I think we need Wait, thirds. Yeah. And we have ninths. So we have nine of them. And inside one of these thirds, there are... Uh, three of them. Three. Okay. So this is one third. Yeah. And inside, there they are. And there they are. Yeah. So we've got three. All right, now what's, uh, do we have any more? We have a third divided by a fifth. One third. Wait, no, did we mean that? Third divided by a fifth. I think we're going to get in trouble. One fifth equals. Whoa, I think we're going to get into trouble. We're going to yep. need thirds. We need an array with thirds. Thirds. Okay. Fifths. Well, let's. If we need fifths, one, two, three, four. I'm going to extend this down a little more. So I can get this out of it. So inside a third. Now let's see, where is a third again? This is one third, yeah. two, three. So this is a third. And here are the fifths. Yeah, so how many? Oh, wait, we got fifteenths. We have fifteenths? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So inside a third, we have five fifteenths. Wow. So a third is, is five fifteenths. Wow. What's a fifth? How many fifteenths? Well, this is a fifth. Be careful. A fifth is this way. Yes. Three. I mean, a fifth is three. This three is three. So this here's one. what we have to think about. Here's. Here's what we have to think about. This is a third, one. And here we go. A third is how many fifteenths? This is five fifteenths. 
That's what we said. The third is five, five fifteenths. fifteenths. And we want to know how many of these three fifteenths fit in there. Wow. So divided by three fifteenths. Five fifteenths divided by three fifteenths. Well, three. Well, one of these fits in here. Yeah. I mean, you can see it right here. There's, there it is. Uh -huh. That is one of uh -huh. these. Uh -huh. But I have two of those pieces left over. Uh -huh. So that's one whole of this plus two, two thirds of, of the them. three equal parts. That's so right. one and two thirds. Okay, so let me, can I go through this again? Yeah. Here's one fifth. No, one I mean third. one third. This. One third. This is one fifth, which is this. And we're looking for how much of this fits into this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And one of these fits into here. That's one of them. Mm -hmm. And I have two pieces left out of this, mm -hmm. which means two out of three. Mm -hmm. Two out of three, two thirds. Mm -hmm. So this equals one whole fifth plus two thirds of this fifth. Mm -hmm. Am I reading that right? Mm -hmm. Now, see what, what we've done here is found common denominators. We did find common denominators here. Or did we? Well, we did. We found six here and ninths here. Are those but, common denominators? Well, yes it is. Well, it was easier oh. to find because three yeah. is a factor of nine and two is a factor of six. R, nine is a multiple of three, yeah. and six is a multiple of three, but these are not. So what I want to do here is one half how many sixths is that? One half of six is three. One, it's how many six? One, two, three. Right. Right? So can we write one half? One half. Uh, and that equals? Three out of six. Three sixths. And uh, so this so this could be that one half is the same as three six. Mm -hmm. So then we can think, and maybe you should write three six I'm right write over it here. In another color. In another color. Right. So now we have three sixths divided by one sixth. How many one sixths fit into three six? Three, three of them. And the same here, one third is three, three ninths. Right. Three out of nine. nine. Yeah. Ninth. So that's how many one ninths fit into three ninths. And so we can always do these things, these divisions, with the common denominator method. Yeah. Very good. And we leave it up to you folks to be thinking about how you, what this common denominator method means for dividing and how these arrays can help you. Okay. Well, visually, I found that really helpful. Yeah. Yeah. For a hard one. Yeah. That's great.